As a docent, our job here at the Living Art event is to introduce them to the gallery space, to welcome them to the event. Each painting we're trying to give a little information about the artist, a little information about what the artist's um, inspiration was to make the painting. And ultimately the performers are going to come in, so we have to be very aware of what's going on in the space around us as well as trying to interact with the guests. Uh, the Living Art is a event we do every two years or so, um, and this is my third time being involved in it. It's probably my favorite event that we do. Uh, and as a writer, uh, what I have to do is I go down to the uh, yearly exhibit the uh, the Austin Arts Council puts on at the Austin Library, and I just kind of take time with the paintings, and I, I usually will just look at them for a while, see if anything in particular calls out to me. I did a little research about, you know, artist communities in the area and Austin Arts Council popped right up and so, um, yeah, I just, I joined. It was the night uh, that everything was due, it was about one in the morning and uh, I was looking through trying to figure out something to submit for this and uh, this painting came up, it just popped into my head and I, I kind of, uh, I went and I looked at it and I just started writing. I love reading. Um, I think when there was, when the character kind of presented itself on the canvas, I thought something in my mind kind of connected with reading and uh, she looked thoughtful to me. And so I just thought, oh, what if I add, what if I add some books here? You know, I started wondering who this girl was, um, what she was reading, you know, what reading actually meant to her. And it all kind of just flowed out and, uh, you know, I was able to submit it. As an Ossining Arts Council member, I welcome the collaboration with the Westchester Collaborative Theater. It is so important to have all the artistic disciplines um, combining into one um, actually meaningful performance. That was the big question was who is this girl? And uh, after looking at the art and looking at the story that came out, I really think it's Jess. She's someone that has to fill many roles in the house and it's, it's really it, it kind of hurts her, I think, to um, have someone who she loves so much, her dad, who's, they still, I think, kind of have a best friend relationship, despite everything, but she's also trying to find that space where she can grow more as a person. Through her and the readings of uh, her favorite book, Ulysses, um, I'm learning to let go and let things be and to, uh, to be happy. I like to paint things that are isolated, that may not have a human form in the scene, but where people can then bring, look at the scene and just invent a story, because basically I've always, as an artist, invented stories in my head. It starts off with uh, this couple that's just met, you know, they've been messaging online from a dating app the way that they do uh, now, and they're at a specific location, which is actually what inspired the play. At sunrise, basically, looking out at this beautiful viewpoint. There's the rocks, there's the water, the sky, and just a little horizon. And what's happening on that horizon? There are tiny little birds there, people, whatever. And then two people meeting, and just enjoying each other, and finding maybe a connection. I like that idea. This, the writer found that in the art, and then created something through it. I love putting my work out there and seeing how other people respond to it. So the idea of like a play being, you know, created based on someone's response to my art is really exciting for me to for me to see.